happy moth man day. I'm Tweet Insanity. Today is uh, December 15th. You see anniversary of the Silver Bridge Collapse, Point Pleasant, West Virginia. Some say the Mothman did it. Some say the Mothman warned the citizens it was about to happen. Well, some say it was a structural collapse because the bridge was built in 1928. And it was in disrepair. Cars in 67 weighed 4,000 pounds. Model T, I think, was 1,500 and then, you know, like a commercial truck in the 20s was like maybe 20,000 pounds. In the 60s, they were 60,000 pounds plus traffic. A lot of stress on that bridge. 44 people died. December 15th, 1967. Well, this is the fallout moth, man. I opened one of these on video years ago, and I ended up getting two more when they were retail relevant, because I love it. Then they put out this guy in the mist line. Sorry for all the noise. My neighbor's blowing leaves or something. And it turns out this is the last one in the mist line. I love the mist line. I have virtually everything in the mist line. Although, I've committed very few to video because I've been waiting for the appropriate day, you know? It's cute. It's okay. It was a Funko Headquarters exclusive. I don't even know what that means or if it still exists. Oh, my gosh. But I paid like 30 or $40 for this in 2020. I looked it up today. There's like one seller and they want $130 in box. You know, I don't keep boxes. But then there's a China seller selling one for, uh, you know, like $30. So I should probably just get that one and flip this one on the bay because I don't want your stupid box, Funko. And one of the reasons I got more of these because I, want, I wanted to take the eyes off of one and put a light in it. Okay. That was my Twin Sanity prophecy. Hasn't happened yet. Dude, I gotta admit the Fallout one's better, but this is kind of based on the original sightings that happened from from November 15th, 1966 until the collapse of the Silver Bridge, December 15th, 1967. There was a year of sightings. Some say it was mass hysteria. Some say it was sandhill cranes in Point, Pre Point, Point, Point Pleasant, West Virginia. Yeah, let's read this. Residents of Point Pleasant, West Virginia, reported multiple sightings of the Mothman between November 66 and December 67. That's what I just said. Describing a humanoid creature with glowing red eyes and a massive wingspan. To this day, Point Pleasant celebrates their hometown cryptid with a statue and a museum. Hey, straight out of Wikipedia. I read that too, Funko. I mean, happy to have it. It's cute. It's nothing like the statue there. So in 2002, they started the Mothman Festival, which is in September. And in 2003, they erected this statue by Bob Roach, local artist Bob Roach, Robert Roach, represent. I'll put it on the screen. And then I found out today, I was looking into it, there's a 24-hour there's a cam pointed at the statue. And the funny thing is, as soon as I went to it, there were visitors there. And then I kind of checked in a few more times. There's no visitors, but, you know, I like that sort of thing. Right there at the Mothman Museum. I think the statue went up 2003. The festival started 2002, statue 2003, and then the museum, the Mothman Museum, Point Pleasant, West Virginia. And up there in the Appalachians. And then, and, and, and uh, was it 2005 on that, I think. Anyway, and then I realized, okay, GPK did a Mothman in the old, the horrible 2018 folklore monster, Stankers. And which is A, which is B. A is Moth Manuel, and B is Wooly Woody. And you see they're eating sweaters. And then I was like, didn't they do one before that? I can't I can't currently find it, but I can confirm. I can probably even put it on the screen. They the scream? No, the screen. Cryptid Insanity, Scream Insanity, Toy Insanity, GPK Insanity. Uh check it. It was the 2014 Series 1. 
A card is Moff Manny. B card is Sweater Eaton. Those were bonus cards. I swear I have those somewhere in the toy vault. Uh, but for day, today, Deck 15. Uh, I could only find these. Big fan of the Mothman. Big fan of the Funko Myth line. Wish they had kept up with it. Apparently it started at 14. 14 was Bigfoot. 15 was the Snowy Bigfoot, a.k.a. Yeti. And then, you know, of course, it did the Loch Ness Monster, the Cyclops, the Jackalope, the Gnome, the Chupacabra. Uh, you know, Medusa, Sphinx. They did the Sphinx. They did a Pegasus, a Minotaur. <sighs> a Kraken. I'm sure I'm forgetting something. The Gnome. Did I say the Gnome? Anyway, well, I don't know why it started at 15. And also, I don't know why they ended it. We never got a, we never got a Jersey Devil. We never even got a Flatwoods Monster. There's tons of cryptids and folklore creatures. I don't think we even got a Wendigo. Funko, pick the Miss line back up. Anyway, happy to have this. And... Happy to have this box comparison. Uh, and we'll do a side-by-side -side figure for you. Okay. And then I do it. Listen, I have the... Uh, I have the Mezco Moth, man. I should grab that. And then, of course, of course, everybody knows I have the Cryptkins. Chonky little beasts. So, you know, he has the humanoid shape... And I'd call those angel wings, bird wings. But then, uh, you know, very insect-like. I'll put a picture on the screen from the game. We'll see how accurate this is to the Fallout game. Fallout Fridays, GPK Wednesdays. No, just kidding. I don't really do anything Fallout. But yeah, I got, I got all these back in the day. No, I didn't. I just got the Mole Miner and the Rad Toad. Don't care about your people. Don't care about your stupid humans. Funko, pick up the Miss line. Oh, by the way, I put a little bit of white on this one's eyes. I just did that today. I didn't have time to, get, you know, haul, put lights in it or whatever I said I was going to do earlier. Okay, very cool. Love you all. Insanity calendar represent. Thanks for the thumbs up. Let me know your Mothman story. Goodbye.